Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. I am going to ramble a little bit on where the heck I've been. So if you wanna just see the haul, you can go ahead and skip ahead. I don't know the timestamp, I don't know how to do that, <laughs> but um, just skip ahead a little bit. This should only take like six or seven minutes. Um, so as most of you guys know, I did get married on September 24th. So uh, that's kind of where I've been, just spending all of my time getting ready. Um, there's a lot that goes into a wedding, a lot more than I thought about. Uh, I needed every little bit of the time that I had to get everything done. Like literally the night before we were still working on the seating chart and like finalizing it and everything. And it was just insane. I do just want to say like if any all if any of my friends are watching this, thank you so much. I literally have the best friends like that anybody could ever ask for. So many of them were over here at our house day in, day out, helping with literally everything. I, I can't even say the specifics because there was stuff that they helped with that I don't even know about, I'm sure. It was just nuts. <laughs> um so I just, I can't thank them enough because it wouldn't have been what it was without them. Um, but the wedding itself, like after all the craziness, the wedding was absolutely beautiful. Jared and I couldn't have had a better, most beautiful wedding. It was just, the weather was beautiful. Everything worked out. There's really nothing that I can like pinpoint that was missing. Um, nothing was really forgotten. Everything just worked perfectly. Um, so that was Saturday. Then we went to Cancun um, and it was just beautiful as well. I will never ever forget our honeymoon. Everything about it was just beautiful. Um, and yeah, now we're married. <laughs> so that's crazy. But I was just super stressed beforehand. Um, even though I work three days a week, they really just take everything out of me. And then to come home and have days off where I'm constantly running into town, trying to finish up the last little touches of everything. Um, it was just, it was so much all at once. Um, but we made it and it was perfect. Um, so now we're back. Uh, I am going on another week vacation next month in November. I think it's like the second week of November. We're going to Florida with my mother-in-law. Um, she takes a lot of trips down there and she doesn't really like to go by herself. So we're going with her. So that'll be a lot of fun, but hopefully I'm not gone as long for that. <laughs> um, but, uh, also I quit my job. Uh, like I said, there's always more. Um, I put my three week notice in the beginning of September and I stopped, my last day was on Wednesday and then I got married Saturday. So I still worked the week of my wedding, which I kind of wish I didn't do, but at the same time I needed the money um, for the crazy, we really didn't spend that much on our wedding. Um, I do want to tally it up. It's probably gonna make me a little sick, but I don't think it was as much as like most weddings are because we did, like I said, do a lot of stuff ourselves. So we tried to cut corners where we could um, enough to where the end result was still what I wanted and had envisioned. So um, I start my new job next Monday. Today's Tuesday that I'm filming this. Uh, so as most of you guys know, I was working at a hospital. I was working 312s in a step down ICU unit. It's called PCU Progressive Care. Um, so they label it as acute care, even though it kind of is, kind of isn't. Um, but I had just kind of come to the realization that it's not what I want to do. I don't like having different patients every day I go into work because I feel like I can't care for them as well as I could if I had the same patients, um, if that makes sense. Uh, I had worked there for nine months, so that's technically like bedside nursing. And I know that's where a lot of nurses are needed. And a part of me feels a little bit guilty. Like as a new grad, I probably should have worked longer at the bedside, but I'm not gonna sit here and say that it's the worst ever in bedside nursing, yada, 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 because I feel like I wasn't there long enough to be able to fully develop an opinion. The place I worked was pretty decent. There was some stuff, you know, everybody complains about their workplace, uh, but 
realistically the hour drive to and from work and then the acute care setting was just not for me and I also kind of thought you know this is my life and I need to do what's going to make me happy so a job came up that is only 25 30 minutes away from my house and it was also three 12 hour shifts, but it was in a nursing home. And my only other job in the medical field was at a nursing home and I loved it. I loved having the same patients and being able to know them inside and out, like medically and just like their daily routine. Um, I really like to have that connection with my patients and I felt like I wasn't getting that when I only had my other patients for like three days. So I accepted the job um, and Actually, when we were on our honeymoon, I got a text from my boss. She is actually like my family, like a family friend. Um, she had texted me that a Monday through Friday daylight job had opened up and she asked me if I had wanted it. Latte, please stop. Um, but the pay per hour was actually a little bit less. So I had told her no, kind of right off the bat. I asked Jared about it, but he didn't really say a whole lot. I told her no because I wanted, you know, to make the most money that I could. But the next morning, Jared and I were sitting at breakfast and he had told me that he did the math because the Monday through Friday is a 40 hour pay week and the 312s is only 36 hours. So when you do the math, somehow there's only like a $40 difference per paycheck um, between the two, even though the pay is less. I'm working four more hours, so it actually like pretty much equals out. Um, so I had texted her kind of in a panic, asking her if the position was still open, and she said yes. So I am taking this as God's sign that this is what he wants me to do. I've never worked a Monday through Friday full time, um, but it's kind of what all nurses strive for. Um, they all try to kind of get that schedule because then you can like live a normal life without working the crazy night shift hours. And it, it is a little hard, even though I'm younger, so I can kind of like adapt to working night shift, but I couldn't turn down this Monday through Friday. I mean, I did, but then we talked about it and to be making pretty much the same amount of money and to be able to only work eight hour days and to come home at 3.30 and be able to make dinner, go grocery shopping, uh, spend time with Jared. Like, I'm really, really excited about it. And I think this is a really, really good step for me. Um, so as I said, I do feel a little bit of guilt, like I should have stayed at my other job longer, but to be truthful, I just wasn't happy. I also don't have a reliable car. I mean, some would say it is, some would say it isn't. It's not four wheel drive. And the winters here in Pennsylvania get a little crazy and the highway is just not very safe on my drive to work. So we're not really in the position to buy a new car quite yet. It's kind of like on our list, but working closer to home definitely makes it easier, especially if Jared has to drive me in his truck or something. Um, it's just, I think gonna be a lot better. So I'm very excited. Like I said, I start Monday, October 10th, and hopefully you guys will be able to see a lot more videos from me because I'll have more time in my days and I can be on kind of like a normal person schedule instead of working Friday, Saturday, Sunday from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. and then I sleep all my days away. It's just, it's kind of a lot. I mean, I feel like I'm not, I don't feel tight. like, I don't know. I just, I feel like I should be able to do that and I can, but realistically I was just not, as happy as I feel like I can be with this job. I don't know. I'm trying to have just like really positive attitude about everything um, because God puts you where you should be. And I've always just prayed that he shows me what direction that I'm supposed to be in. And I want to find the field in nursing that I love so that I can stay there. And, you know, I feel like if you are really, really passionate about something, you just do a better job, you're more eager to learn. And I feel like in critical care, there's just so much to learn that I feel like I was never going to be as good of a nurse as I could be, you know, working at a dialysis center or hospice where you can get in that rhythm because you're doing the same stuff. At a hospital, you're never doing the same stuff. It's always something different. Your patients can be like polar opposites of one another and you have four of them. Like, I don't know. 
it, it's just if, if you know you know you just gotta find what works for you and I'm taking this like I said as God's sign that this is what he wants me to do at least for right now and we'll see how it goes um but yeah that's kind of my update so I guess we'll just stop there and I'll show you guys the haul. So that took 10 minutes, but it's okay. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys a couple like little random hauls before I get into the outlet haul. Um, most of them are from like the e exclusive candle launches. Um, I do know that I had a free coupon and if you don't know, you can use a free coupon in store and then there's an online code on the back and you can use it online in a shipped order or buy online pickup in store. So I did the buy online pickup in store, obviously, because that's like the better deal. Um, but you have to buy something. You can't just get the free item. So the item that I bought was actually 50% off. This was a sea salt and sales car fragrance refill. So I paid like $2 for this. And then I got the antibacterial hand spray and strawberry pound cake, which I have been like craving, like especially like before we left, I was really really wanting to use my strawberry pound cake body care but it wasn't in my project use it up so i didn't so i definitely like that's why i bought this so i got these two then bro what are you doing then i'm pretty sure this was the mini sale i got the cider donut lip gloss um i love these lip glosses if you haven't tried them you absolutely need to i wanted to buy like 10 of these because they're just so cute with like the little donuts and everything um, but I don't even use these as much as I should for as much as I love them. I just love to like collect them. Um, I use them every so often, but really it just wasn't realistic for me to buy like a bunch of these. So I'm just super happy that I got one. Um, then for the candle launches. So the only candle that I didn't get, and it's because of the wedding and the honeymoon and everything, I did not get the one that smells like mashed potatoes and gravy. Um, I... If I see it, like I'm going into town tomorrow, I believe I have like a bunch of Amazon returns and stuff. Uh, if I see it, I will probably get it if it's on sale. Um, but I'm not gonna be sad that I didn't get it. Um, I would just get it for like collection purposes, but I don't really care about it. Um, the other one that I didn't really care to get, but I did buy was the Sweater Weather and Sweep Cinnamon Pumpkin. The only reason I would say that I wasn't super excited about this is because I feel like if I really wanted this candle, I could just burn a sweater weather candle and a sweet cinnamon pumpkin in the same room and get the same effect. Um, but since it was like new packaging and yada yada, I got it. I'm not sad that I got it. The packaging, it's okay. I love pumpkins and sweaters, so that's why I like it. But I think they could have done like a little bit more. I mean, I don't really know what else you would have done, <laughs> but um, it's the packaging is just okay. This has notes of juniper berries, aromatic eucalyptus, warm cinnamon, and fresh ground clove. Uh, that juniper berries note was actually in a candle that I got that I hated. It was like that winterberry wreath or whatever it is, some wreath candle, and I really, really didn't like it. I'm pretty sure I exchanged it. I don't think I have it anymore, but this smells good to me. It doesn't smell like how the other candle made me feel. It actually smells pretty good. Um, I just don't think it's anything super special, but I'm glad that I have it. Um, I probably will burn this one. I don't really see myself hoarding this one because to be honest, I probably just shouldn't have bought this one, but I did. Um, so yeah, I got this one. Then um, I actually picked up two of the chocolate espresso martini. Now this one, I was most excited for out of all of them, I will say. I I actually don't like espresso martinis. I've only ever tried one and I absolutely hated it. It tasted like char, like it was too dark and ugh, I don't like the taste of them at all. But I love chocolate candles. I love coffee candles, coffee, them, coffee itself, coffee scents. I will walk around smelling like a pot of coffee all day long. I love coffee scent and coffee itself. I just love coffee. Um, so this has notes of coffee liqueur, espresso, splash of vodka, and dark chocolate swirl. I love the packaging on this. I think it is so cute. And it just smells heavenly. It smells so, so good. How, like chocolate and coffee. I'm actually allergic to chocolate. I eat it sometimes, just it like makes my mouth swell. 
but all oh, this combination is just beautiful. If you haven't gotten this and you can still find it at your store somehow, please get it. It is so worth it. I would have got like 18 of these if I could, <laughs> uh, but I don't need that many, but I will probably hoard these for a really long time. Then lastly, for the exclusive candle launches, I got this salted caramel pretzel. Um, this has notes of freshly baked soft pretzel, brown butter, caramel, and sea salt. I really want to pull out my um, salted caramel ice cream or whatever that other one was. I have that one. It's in like the blue and white tie-dye packaging. I want to smell them side by side, but I think it's like pretty deep in my candle closet. But this just smells so, so good. Oh my gosh. I love like the caramel and like sea salt. Like you definitely smell that. But like the pretzel note, I love pretzels. Soft pretzels, if that's like an appetizer at a restaurant, I will be getting the soft pretzel. I This candle is just awesome. It's so good. The packaging, pretty cute. Little pretzels on it. Super excited I was able to get my hands on this one. I figured this one was gonna be kind of a hard one to find. And actually, I'm pretty sure I got the last one. I'm pretty sure she told me because I did a buy online pickup in store. And I think she said, you yeah, actually got the last one. I was like, cool. Okay, now I'm moving on to uh, the outlet haul. So me and my best friend actually drove. We were going to a Hobby Lobby. Uh, it was the next closest one from us. We have one in our town, but I had bought everything for the wedding at that Hobby Lobby, so I, couldn't find anything else I needed, so we needed to go to a different one. So we drove there, and of course, the outlet was right by it. So we stopped, and I got some pretty good things. I think I had a 20 or 25% off. I don't know where my receipt's at, but I'll try to say the prices if I remember. But also, I got even more of a discount. So this stuff was like a really, really good deal. So first off, I got the Summer Melody Dry Shampoo. This intrigued me so much when it came out, but it only has 3.3 ounces. And if you don't know, that's not a lot. If you look at like the Batiste dry shampoo or really any other dry shampoo, they're usually like six ounces and up, I would say from like my experience. So this being priced at $14.50 is ridiculous for 3.3 ounces. Like I'm pretty sure this feels like something I could get two, maybe three uses out of. And I bought another one of these, um, I think at the Labor Day sale, but this one was at the outlet. So this at the outlet was priced at $5 and then I used my 20% off. So I paid like $4-ish for it, I wanna say. But super excited to try it. Um, next, I picked up a Almond Blossom body lotion. I want to say this was either 75% off or $5 as well. I think it was in the 75% off bin, but it actually rang up for $5, which is fine because if you guys know, the outlet has scents that are like retired and they keep them like all year round and they're usually on sale for like $7. Um, but Almond Blossom, I was looking for this. And this was the last one. This was the only one I found. Um, Almond Blossom, they actually took away from like the retired scents or something. Like it wasn't on the wall. There was nothing. This was the only thing I found in a bin. So I was okay paying the $5 because I saw the price and I was like, oh, I didn't think it was going to be that much. But it's okay because I only paid like $4 for it. And I really, really, really wanted this. Um, this is the body lotion. I already have the fine fragrance mist and I love this scent. So I'm definitely going to be pairing these two together. Um, the notes on this are sweet almond oil, vanilla orchid and cashmere musk. So I absolutely love this and I'm so happy I found it. Then on the $2 table, they had gangnam in the body lotion. They had two of these, two of the amber one Amber Romance, is that what it's called? Bro, come here. Um, but I left one for somebody else. I just got one of the gingham, but for $2 and then I paid like $1.50 for it. Such, such a good deal. I do have the full set of this already, but this is just such a good scent. It has blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine, and violet. Such like a fresh, clean, lightly perfumey scent. Okay, then some minis. Uh, well, okay, this Summer Melody perfume, this was $5 as well. Um, then I paid like four something for it. I wish this was like a little bit cheaper, but Summer Melody was one that I said I didn't really want in full size. 
Um, if I saw it at 75% off, I probably would get in a full size, but they only had it for like all their summer melody stuff was $5. So I just got the dry shampoo and the perfume. Um, super excited to have this because I do have like a couple of these and I like to have these. Um, I kind of hoard these as well, like most Bath and Body Works things, but yeah, picked up the little perfume. On the $2 table is what I'm going to show next. I got a couple things. So I got the, like everything I got, I got like the last of it. Um, I got the last two of these. This is the Summer Melody Body Cream and Summer Melody Fine Fragrance Mist in the travel size. So these were both $2. I paid like $1.50 each. Super, super good deal. Um, and I... I'm happy to have the mini. Like I said, if the full size is 75% off, I probably will get it. But right now I'm gonna hold off, especially now that I have the minis. And I'll probably take these to Florida with me next month. So I got those. Uh, another thing I got is the Champagne Apple and Honey Body Cream. I am really, really debating on buying Champagne Apple and Honey. I am craving an apple scent and I really don't have any body care with apple in it right now. So I definitely had to pick this up. Um, also on the $2 table uh, and then this faceted packaging. But we'll see if I end up getting the full size because I really, really want this. Just something Apple, it doesn't even have to be that. Next, I got this Bubbly Rose Body Lotion. It kind of looks like it was used um, or maybe not. The cap part looks clean, so maybe not. The reason I got this was only because I have a uh, Fine Fragrance Mist Mini in Bubbly Rose. I think I had like a coupon for it um, and I got it for free. So I wanted to get this so that I had a set. So I'll probably take these two and then the Bubbly Rosé to Florida with me. So that's why I got that. And then I picked up four hand creams also on the $2 table. I got two in the scent Dahlia and then two in Hello Spring, which is actually fresh cut lilacs. I'm actually using up one of the Hello Spring that I got like at SAS, I want to say. Um, in my like makeup, on my makeup desk. I love Fresh Cut Lilacs in small doses. Um, and I just, my favorite thing about this is the packaging. It is just so cute with these little daisies or whatever. It's so cute. So I just got two of those. And then Dahlia is actually my mom's favorite fragrance. I have one of these hand creams already, but Dahlia is something I wish I would have bought more in backups. Um, I do have a full set of it um, in body care, like full size, but if for whatever reason I finally decide to use it up and I'm over and I don't have any more, I at least will have the hand creams to go to and I can, I can gift these to my mom as well. Okay, now on to full size stuff. Um, when I look at everything, I don't really think I got that much, but I think I paid like 60 or $70 if I, I don't know. Me and my best friend put our transactions together so that she could use my coupon. So I don't really remember what the end amount was. Next, I got Golden Sunflower. So this is in the faceted and this is in the regular packaging. This has notes of sunflower petals, orange flower, and fresh vanilla. I totally skipped on this scent multiple times. I really didn't care about it. And then um, before I go to an outlet, I usually watch like a bunch of people's outlet hauls, even if I've already watched them. So I can kind of like see what other people have been finding. And this was one that I was like, okay, if I find this, I need it because I have been falling in love with more like floral perfumey scents. Even now, like even in the fall time, I am loving them. And this is one that I just feel like I missed out on. Um, I couldn't find a body cream or a lotion, which is okay. Um, these were both on the $3 table, like just $3 flat. So I had to pick them up. This was something that I definitely had on my mind before I went into the outlet. So super happy about that. Um, then I got a bunch, well, a bunch of beach nights because... It was also on the $3 table, which is crazy. I'm almost like kicking myself that I spent 75% off on it, which isn't even a bad deal. It's a couple cents difference. But I ended up getting two of the fine fragrance mists. And I don't even know. I want to say I might have three of these already. So I have two more. Um, I got one body lotion, one body cream, and then I got two of the shower gels. So I'm very, very excited about this because it's a vanilla scent. Um, it has notes of toasted marshmallow, sea salt breeze, s'mores accord, beach driftwood, and creamy vanilla. 
you can use vanilla all year round, especially this one, which is pretty much geared towards summer. I feel like you can use this all year round. So I got two more full sets of it and I'm very, very excited about it because now I won't feel as guilty when I use my other ones. Um, and then this is the last thing in body care. This we literally, me and my best friend, we dug through every single tote because once I found one part of the set, I was like, okay, we need to see if there's anything else because I would love to have a full set of this. And somehow we found the entire set. We were both, well, I was super excited. I think she was happy that she helped me out. It is in the set, set or scent, <laughs> copper, oh my gosh, copper coconut sands. This is one that I even looked for SAS in my store, was sold out of it. I could not find it, could not find the full set. At one store, if one item was like easy to get, the other ones were hard and I just, I it never was, I was never able to get a full set, but I really, really wanted it because a lot of people raved about this. So I got it in the fine fragrance mist, I got it in the body lotion and we found it in the shower gel and I paid, this was 75% off, which is still such a good deal. Um, the notes on this are sun-kissed coconut, soft orchid petals, and creamy sandalwood. I love this. I'm so happy I have it, um, especially since I found out that coconut pineapple is not for me at all. I need to find something else coconut for next summer because I probably won't use that this year. Okay, now I got four candles. They were on the $6 table and then I had my 20, 25% off. Um, there was nothing crazy good, but I had to buy some. So I got two of the Midnight Snow. I'm pretty sure I already have one of these in my collection. Um, this has notes of juniper berries. What the heck? Juniper berries, cedar wood, and soft lavender. I wonder what was in the other candle then that I really didn't like because it's clearly not the juniper berries, at least like by itself, because it's in all these other candles and I like these. This smells so good. This smells like just a sexy man. It smells so good. <coughs> oh, sorry guys. So I got two of these. I don't know if I'll gift, I might gift one and keep one. I don't know. I really like it. I really like the packaging. I love wraparound. The snowflakes are super cute. The lid even has snowflakes on it. I love these. So such a good deal. They had more of those, but I was just going to keep myself to a limit. Um, next I got Falling Flurries. I've never had this one before. This has notes of frozen thyme, fresh eucalyptus, ripe pear, and sandalwood. It's definitely like a more clean, it's a clean scent. Hmm, it's, it's very different than what I usually get. It smells super good. Like the thyme and the eucalyptus definitely give it like that green, that greenery, um, but the pear gives it like Oh, it's just, it's so different. I really like this. I don't know if they had any more of these, but that's really good. The one that I, uh, Jared's texting me. Um, this is the last thing from this haul. The last thing, it was the only candle that they, it was the only one they had. And as soon as I saw it, I grabbed it before anybody else could because I had seen that other people were hauling this and I really, really wanted it if they had any for $6. I know I just exchanged for one of them, but the scent is Cactus Blossom. Uh, this is an older packaging. It has a one, so it must have been made in 2021. But this has Cactus Flower Petal, Sun Kiss Coconut, Fresh Sparkling Lemon. Uh, the other packaging that I exchanged for is like the newer white barn, I think. Yeah, I think it's like a matte pink. Um, but for $6, mm, this smells so good. I definitely, definitely needed this. I wish they would come back out in body care with this because I would definitely get it. Before I kind of like slept on it and now I'm kind of loving it. So that is it. Um, I can't wait to fill my project use it up in empties after this because I, I have a lot of progress and those are my favorite videos to film and I'm late on it because I was in Cancun. So please head over to my channel to watch that if you haven't already. I'm not sure what order they'll go up in, probably this one first, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.